Last night when I was making uh, changes for our agenda, I realized that from the stage we haven't talked about the names Project Hope, and that we've been in sort of denial about it hanging in back of us all this time. And that the reason that it's up here is that um, there are three bisexual people in this group that we know of, and that it's really important to talk about them because they're here. This is Marco Rossi's cool piece. And Marco Rossi died in New York last year. He was, he had over 50 identities because he couldn't be confined to any one thing. He wrote and published over 15 erotic novels and edited several small magazines. He was a sexual, spiritual, political, adventurer. I was going to talk about Barry Cohen. He's got a, um, you may have read about him out in the hallway. And he died in 1987 at the age of 44. He's best known for the book he co-authored with his wife, Alan, Alice Matuso. The book was called Barry and Alice, Portrait of a Bisexual Marriage. It was one of the very first, and if I'm not mistaken, one of the only experiential books where bisexual people, people were talking about their experience. It wasn't a study of bisexuals. His concern throughout his life was to help people reach their full potential. Cynthia Slater does not have a piece up here. She died recently from San Francisco. Her story is also out in the foyer. She died in 1989. She was a mother of three and a grandmother. She founded the Society of Janus, the first pansexual S&M educational and support group on the West Coast. She was the first self-identified S&M woman to go public to the world at large, educating and rabble-rousing. Just before she died, Shanti, she got a Shanti Award, Human Service Award, for her contribution for Women with AIDS Resource Guide she put together. Alan Rothman is one of the founding members of BIPOC uh, in 1983. And Alan was an out gay identified bisexual in the 70s. I don't know if any of you remember, actually how can we forget, the whole, in the 70s with Anita Bryant when she um, started the whole SAFE back up. Alan was one of the co-editors, or co, I'm a co-editor, Alan was a co-author. <laughs> the Gay Rights Ordinance in Dade County, Florida in the late 70s. He co-authored that, which um, for, it passed, and it outraged Anita Bryant so much that she started a campaign called Save Our Children, which Jerry Falwell and got involved with. Alan then spearheaded a campaign um, to boycott Minute Maid orange juice, and Anita Bryant lost her million-dollar-a-year contract. 